So I'm going to show you a couple of VLOOKUP scenarios in Excel and how we replicate them in Tableau. The first, laying out the data here, we've got a sales year, manufacturer, group, and production. And this is what we're going to be kind of focusing on is the production number. Then we also have a discount table based on the sales year and the discount. So what you would do is you'd come over here, you'd write a VLOOKUP that says based on the year, you pull over the discount. Well, when we pull this over into Tableau, Tableau doesn't like to have two tables on the same worksheet. So I've gone ahead and created a new worksheet called Discount. You can see it's got the same information. And then I'm just gonna delete these fields here. So when we go into Tableau, I've already gone ahead and pulled in the manufacturer's Excel file. We're gonna pull over main sales and then we're gonna see, you see the discount table. There's two ways of doing this. One, this is a logical join, and that will work. However, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a physical join. I like using the physical join for these VLOOKUP. So you'll see this join here, is it a, this is listed as an inner. Most of the VLOOKUPs we want, well, all the VLOOKUPs are going to be a, a left join. Tableau's already identified the fields, sales year and linking on sales year, so that's great. And now we're gonna to go to the worksheet. We're gonna pull over the group, the sales year, and we're actually gonna make this discrete because, uh, convert to discrete. We're not gonna be adding the sales years or taking the maximum sales year. We might do max, but we're not gonna take the average of the sales years. So just bring the sales years over. And then we're gonna bring over the discount. I'm gonna bring that under the text. Now, this is giving you a sum because there's a lot of different rows under each column, each group A for each year. We don't want to add them up. We just wanna get what is the average and so we're gonna change this to average. And there are the discounts for the different years. The next scenario is if the discount table is actually in a different file. So we're gonna to come to data source, gonna open it up, gonna to link to our manufacturer's discount. We're gonna do the simple discount for right now. So, we'll open, and we're gonna bring over the simple discount. Same joining, left join. Tableau's already identified that the sales year is the link. And now we go to sheet one, and be because the names are the same, it's already pulling over the discount, the simple discount. One thing that I'll say that I often do is if you are linking on a field, you can see sales year, simple discount, because that's the table. What I often do is I just hide that so that I don't get confused, so I don't try filtering on sales year from one table and sales year from another. Just a little something to help me. Now, let's make this a little more complicated. Let's assume that you have a discount that changes based on the group. Group A, Group B, Group C, you've got different discounts. Well, Tableau cannot handle three different tables like this. In, in Excel, you would just use an if statement and say, hey, pull it from this table if it's A, B, or C. What we need to do is we need to put those all, just copy and paste, put them in one table like this. And so now going back to Tableau, I'm gonna open. Rather than a simple discount, we're just gonna remove that. We're going to use I think we just called it discount. Once again, we're gonna change this to a left join. It's got group, but we also want it to be sales year. So grab sales year and sales year down there. Come over back here. And now you can see that there's a difference that differs by sales year. Here, here's a bonus you may have in your data. So what if this is your scenario? You don't have the year, you have the date, but your discount is still based on the sales year. Well, you can still do this in Tableau. Let's come over to data source. And let's pretend 
that we don't have a sales year, right? Let's say that's not here. All we have is the date. And we know the date is not the same as the year, but there's this create join calculation. And what we're gonna do is we're just going to basically convert the sales date to a year. And then, then the join will work. Come back to sheet. And you can see that all these numbers are correct. So that's a couple different ways that you can replicate linking or doing a VLOOKUP in Excel in Tableau.